Good morning. Welcome to Bethel's pre-Yom Kippur taught service. I'm so glad you guys were here. And those of you watching on video, I'm glad that you're here as well. So please join me as we begin with Good Morning Boker Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov Tov Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov Tov Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov Tov Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov to Stewie. Good morning, Boker Tov to Eli. Good morning, Boker Tov to Leia. Good morning, Boker Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov to Lucy. Good morning, Boker Tov to Ari. Good morning, Boker Tov to Ariella. Good morning, Boker Tov. Good morning, Boker Tov to the Torah. Good morning, Boker Tov to the Shofar. Good morning, Boker Tov to Maradana. Good morning, Boker Tov. And good morning to you, and thank you for coming to join us today. What holiday are we getting ready to celebrate tonight? Yom Kippur. Sui. Sukkot. Sukkot will be next Friday, but that's a good guess. But I think I heard Eli say it. Eli, say again. Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, right. Yom Kippur is a very serious holiday. On Yom Kippur, there are a lot of things that adults don't do. Do we know some of the things that adults don't do? Give me one thing. Ooh. Eat, right, they don't eat food. What else don't they do? They don't eat food, they can walk fast. Okay. Yes, you, uh, Stuart? Well, they, can also they can also fast. They fast, right, so what does it mean to fast? Does it mean the day goes really quickly? Yeah. No, that's not what fast means here. We don't drink. We don't drink, right. So no eating, no drinking. What else? They, they go to synagogue where they stay home because they're not going to, to what? They're not going to work or they're not going to school. Right, because this is a, a special day where we have to focus on other things other than work and school. Some people don't wear leather shoes. This is a day where we focus only on being here and on our relationship with our, between ourselves and God. So we're going to focus on being here right now. And we're going to remember a blessing that was once given to the Israelites in the desert about how beautiful their tents were and how lovely it was to see them. So we're all gonna make tents. Can you make a tent and put it over your head, please? And we're gonna sing Matovu, please sing with me. Matovu, oh Time. Very nice tent. I hope whatever tent or whatever home you're sitting in right now is one that's safe and healthy and ready for this new year. We want to make sure that we go into the new year, which started at Rosh Hashanah, with kind of a clean page. So we have to settle anything that remains between us and other people. And sometimes what we have to do is to apologize. What does it mean to, to apologize? 
What do we have to say? Ari, say it again. Do we, can you help Ari out? What do we say? I'm sorry. Yes, we say I'm sorry. And sometimes it's not easy to say I'm sorry. But if you know that you've done something wrong or you've hurt someone's feelings or you've behaved in a way that didn't show your best self, then now is the time to say I'm sorry so that we can get past it and start the year fresh and clean. Won't that be a nice thing? You know, there's another name for Yom Kippur. It's called Shabbat Shabbaton, the, the Shabbat of Shabbats, the Sabbath of Sabbaths, which means that it's one of the very few times that if it lands on, on a Saturday, we would actually fast. Normally we don't fast on Saturdays. Um, so we're going to do Bim Bam, but when we say Shabbat Shalom, we're gonna keep in mind that we're not talking about the Shabbat that starts on a Friday night. We're talking about the Shabbat Shabbaton, the Sabbath of Sabbaths, the Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. You ready? Show me your bim. Show me your bam. Bim, bam, bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Cheery, beery, beery, bim, bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat shalom. Bim, bam, bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Cheery, beery, beery, bim, bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat, 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 shabbat shalom. you guys like to do? Can you show me? Oh, Stewie's taking a nap. Let's all take naps. Come right down. She didn't hear you. Oh my goodness. What woke me up from that nap? What was that sound? The shofar. That was the shofar, right. And when did we first, when, what holiday were we blowing shofar? Last week? Yeah. Well, it's last week's holiday, do you remember? Can you say? Yes, do we? Hi, Rosh Hashanah. We were blowing on Rosh Hashanah, right. In fact, we were blowing for the whole month leading up to Rosh Hashanah. And now, on Yom Kippur, there's only one time we're going to blow. When are we going to blow? Is it at the beginning of the holiday? No. When's it going to be? Eli, do you know? On um, Yom Kippur. On Yom Kippur, when on Yom Kippur? Is it the beginning or the end of the holiday? End of the holiday. The end of the holiday, at the very, very end, to tell us that Yom Kippur is over, the fast is over, and we're allowed to eat. That'll happen tomorrow night at 7.33 p.m. And I hope that you're all able to hear the sound of the shofar, even if you're doing it by live stream. Um, which part of your body works best when it's quiet? If your screen is on, you can point and show me. I see people pointing to their ears. That's right. Your ears work best. What do you use your ears for? What do we use ears for? Listening. Listening, good. We use our ears for listening. And what prayer do we have that talks about listening and using our ears? 
and even starts with that nice shh sound. Shema. Shema, good. So let's go over the words for the Shema and we'll go over the motions and then everyone will say it together. So our first word is Shema, which means listen. So we're gonna take our hand, put it by our ear and say Shema. Shema. Shema, good. What's our next word? Yisrael. And Yisrael is the name of who? Leia. And Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leia and Lucy. But it's also the name of all the Jewish people. Right? So we have all of the Jewish people are called Yisrael. And what sign are we going to use for them? Well, what's the most important book of the Jewish people that looks something like this? What's that called? Torah. Torah, right. So when we say the name of the Jewish people, we're going to pretend that we're holding the bottoms of a Torah. All right, so listen up, Jewish people. We have an announcement to make. Who's our announcement about? What's our next word? Uh, <laughs> it's Adonai, which is our name for God. And where is Adonai? Where's Adonai? At your house? And at your house? Yeah. And at my house? And where Rabbi Matt is in the sanctuary? At everybody's house, because Adonai is everywhere. So we go, Adonai. What's our next word? Eh. Almost. Let's do Eloheinu first, which is like our protector. So we're gonna make a seatbelt, okay? Eloheinu. And we have one more announcement about Adonai. Now, how many is Adonai? Go ahead, Stewie. I think you said it. Oh, Eli said it? Go ahead, Stewie. Echad. Echad. Good. Eli, how many is Echad? Leah and Lucy, can you show me on your screen how many Echad is? And Eli, can you say it? One. One. Right. No. One. Okay, so let's do the whole Shema and then we're going to listen to Rabbi Matt. So put your hand by your ear and we're going to sing together. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Good job, everyone. We welcome Rabbi Matt, who's visiting our service today. Welcome, Rabbi Matt. Yeah, Rabbi. Hi, everyone. How are we doing this uh, Sunday morning? Good? I, yes. So, I, what I, holiday is coming up I, tonight and I, tomorrow? I, 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 Does anyone know? Can anyone say? What holiday is coming up? What are we here for uh, today? Is, you know. Well, you say it. Say it. No? It is for Yom Kippur. And one of the big things that we talk about on Yom Kippur is saying we're sorry. And I know for a lot of us, when we say we're sorry, we're often like, oh, I'm sorry. Bye. But it kind of needs to be more than that. So what do you need to do when you say sorry? What are things that are important when you're making an apology? Is it important to giggle while you're making an apology? Do no. no. Because then people might think you're Probably not serious, not. right? So you want to try and show that you mean that you're sorry and you're not just saying the words. So you don't want to walk away. You don't want to just do it really quickly. You want to actually be there with the person that you're saying sorry to. Are there other things that you might need to do to show that you're being serious? Oh, is 
that a hand raise or is that a wave? I'm not sure. So. Stewie has an idea. Oh, Stewie, go ahead. We're not giggling when you sing songs. Okay, so yeah, not giggling, trying to have a serious face when you're saying you're sorry. That can be important. Another idea? Stewie? Yeah. This is not an idea. This is a question for my sister. Okay. What's the question? You're mute, honey. Question for your sister. M move on. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so another thing that might be important when you're apologizing is to say what you're being sorry for. Because you don't want to, you know, say you're sorry for taking someone's cookie, uh, which you might be, but what they're upset about is that you push them to the side so that you could get their cookie. So you want to make sure that you're saying, I'm sorry for this. And it's also sometimes hard to say you're sorry and to mean it when it's something that you keep doing or something that someone keeps doing to you. So you want to make sure that once you've said you're sorry, that you try not to do the thing you're sorry for again. So if you're sorry for, you know, stealing your sister's clothes or taking the best uh, slice of pizza, once you say you're sorry for that, it doesn't really feel so good if the very next day you go and do the exact same thing again. So you want to make sure you say you're sorry, you say what you're sorry for, and then you work to make sure that you don't do that same thing again when you're put in the same situation. And that is actually part of a very special Hebrew word that we use really for Yom Kippur, and we talk about it all the time. It begins with a t sound. Does anyone know what t sound word I might be talking about? I saw you can yell it out. Oh, Stewie, go for it. You're muted. Though. Unmute first. There you go. I actually don't know. He's just being my husband. Okay. So the special word is teshuva. Teshuva, which is a really important idea on Yom Kippur and throughout the entire year. Because you don't just have to wait for Yom Kippur to do teshuva. You don't have to wait for Yom Kippur to say you're sorry. But teshuva means saying you're sorry, saying, oh, that thing that I did wasn't so good, and then not doing that thing again. So with that, I hope that over Yom Kippur and throughout the rest of the year, you think about how do I apologize? How do I want someone to apologize to me? And continue to work on it. Because I promise you, it's something adults have problems with too. So with that, I will say a gemar chatima tova and shana tova and a wish that you have a meaningful Yom Kippur. Thank you, Rabbi Matt. Can we all wave goodbye to Rabbi Matt? Bye, Rabbi Bye. Matt. Bye. Thanks for visiting. Thank you. Bye. I think we're ready for a story now, guys. So Arielle is going to share her screen. Arielle is going to try to share her screen. What's it doing? Nothing. OK, well, Arielle is experiencing a technical difficulty. So she's going to keep trying on that. and. Oh, I see somebody brought a unicorn. Is that a special unicorn? Buckets are her horn. 
It does have a horn. I see that. Very nice. Sparkles of hope. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ariella's got her screen working, so we're going to read Sammy Spider's first Yom Kippur. You ready? We're going to start with saying, I'm sorry. Sammy Spider was relaxing in his web on the Shapiro's living room ceiling. Suddenly, Josh burst through the front door, blowing a horn he had made at school. Sammy jumped at the loud noise. Mother, shouted Sammy. What is Josh blowing? That's the shofar, Sammy. The rabbi blows the shofar at Rosh Hashanah services to welcome the new year. The shofar is also sounded at the end of Yom Kippur. What's Yom Kippur, asked Sammy. Yom Kippur is a holy day when people tell each other they are sorry for saying or doing something hurtful. On Yom Kippur, Josh's family will spend the day in synagogue praying. Mr. and Mrs. Shapiro won't eat until services are over at the end of the day. Will we go to synagogue too, asked Sammy. Silly little Sammy. Spiders don't go to synagogue. What do spiders do? Spiders spin, spin webs, webs, answered Mrs. Spider. Josh placed his little shofar under the honey dish next to the family's large curvy shofar. Can I have a shofar to blow, pleaded Sammy. Mrs. Spider laughed. Silly little Sammy. Spiders don't blow shofars. Spiders, Spiders spin, spin webs. webs. Sammy lowered himself on a strand of webbing to get a closer look at the shofar. When Mrs. Shapiro asked Josh, how was school today? I have homework, Josh said. My teacher wants us to make a list of all the people we should apologize to before Yom Kippur. Will you help me write the list? We'll do it after dinner, Mrs. Shapiro suggested. While I set the table, why don't you put your toys away? Your ball belongs outside. Josh picked up his ball. He bounced it on the floor and Sammy scrambled up his web as the ball came toward him. Josh dribbled the ball a few times and bounced it even harder. Sammy's web began to shake. He felt like he was on a trampoline. Mr. and Mrs. Shapiro rushed in to see what the noise was. As Josh's ball took a final bounce, it hit a shelf, knocking the honey dish to the floor. Sammy's web snapped loose. What happened? His parents asked. Josh looked frightened. I was playing ball and it hit the shelf. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do it, he said. As he spoke, he noticed two little spiders scurrying away. Mr. Shapiro looked at Josh sternly. Don't you remember the rules? The ball is an outside toy. Josh nodded tearfully. Then please take it outside and get a broom, his dad said. Sammy and Mrs. Spider climbed back up to the ceiling and began spinning themselves a new web. Josh swept the glass from the floor and gently replaced the shofars on the shelf. Mrs. Shapiro looked at Josh. Now please pick up your toys so we can have dinner. Then we can work on the list of people you want to apologize to before Yom Kippur. As Josh hurried to put his toys away, he looked up at the ceiling. The two spiders were busy spinning a web. After dinner, Josh sat on the couch with his parents. Mrs. Shapiro was holding a notepad and a pen. Who's first on your list, she asked. Josh looked at his parents. Both of you, he whispered sadly. I'm sorry I didn't put away my toys when you asked me. I'm sorry I played ball in the house when I knew I shouldn't. And I'm sorry I broke the honey dish and knocked the shofars off the shelf. Josh's parents gave him a hug. We accept your apology, they said. There's one more thing I want to add to the list, said Josh, looking up. I'm sorry I broke your web, little spiders. Sammy looked at his mother and smiled. I think we should accept his apology, he said. Do you think they accepted Josh's apology? I think so, right? Oh, it's a nice thing to accept the apology when somebody makes it from the heart. Uh, we are very lucky right now. I see that Rabbi Cornsgold has joined us. Uh, his tagline says Bethel Synagogue, but we know it's really Rabbi Cornsgold. And if he would like to unmute, he is welcome to join us right now. Welcome, Rabbi Jay. Thank you very much, Moradana. Hello to all. Check it out, see who is on. And uh, it's great to have everybody. So uh, I was listening to that fine story 
uh, about what are we going to, what does a spider do? What do spiders do, guys? Stewie? They spin webs. They spin webs. Very nice. So what I wanted to talk about is, um, so one of the things we talk about on Yom Kippur, uh, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, is that we say that on Rosh Hashanah it is written, and on Yom Kippur it is sealed. And uh, one of the things we talk about on Yom Kippur is that everybody should be oh, sealed no, no, but... for a happy and a healthy uh, new year. And um, one of the things we, we hear about is the, that we have this book. And we all hope that uh, we'll get into the book for a good year and a happy year. And so on Rosh Hashanah, we talk about the book being written. And then on Yom Kippur, we talk about the year being sealed, which is why we say, Gemar Chatima Tova. We hope that the seal will be uh, completed um, for good. And one of the ways uh, that, we taught, that we do that is to make sure that in this upcoming year, we try to do all those things that we may have not done so good during the past year, such as maybe listening to our mom and, and our dad, uh, maybe uh, making, taking care of our brother and sister, uh, making sure that we have an animal, we take good care of the animal, making sure that we're kind to our, to our friends. And so my hope is that as we make our way into Yom Kippur, uh, that each of us um, are sealed. Uh, it's not a, a book like Mo Redana just wrote. This is kind of a book up uh, with God in heaven. Uh, so, you know, it's not like Mo Redana is going to bring you down the book. But um, we hope that um, as we go through this holiday of Yom Kippur, uh, that each of us and the members of our family uh, be inscribed and most importantly be sealed for a happy, healthy new year. And that as we go through this upcoming year, that all those things that we said we're gonna do better, that we actually do them. And if we're able to do that, then it will hopefully be a great year for all of us. Uh, we wish, I know you guys are not fasting, but we always say, not only do we say that we should wish, wish each other an easy fast, uh, we have to wish each other a meaningful fast. We don't want it just to be easy, but we want it to be meaningful as well. So, um, Shana Tova and Gamar Tov. Gamar Tov, Rabbi yes. Tzomkal, thank, thank you so much for joining us. My Can we all say goodbye to Rabbi Kornsgold? Bye-bye, well. guys. Bye, Rabbi Kornsgold. Bye-bye. Bye, Rabbi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go Eagles. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woohoo. I heard that. That was Rachel Gomez, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> So we say sorry um, the way Sammy Spider was, the Sammy Spider story was talking about and the way Rabbi Matt was talking about. Um, we apologize to people for things that we've done individually, but we also confess the things that we've done as a community. Because even if you as one person didn't do a particular sin as a community, we've done a lot of them. So there's a special prayer that's all written in the plural. It's all written for not just one person, but everybody. And we say those sins out loud to remind us not to do them in the next year. And when we say them, we have a choice. We can either make a fist and lightly tap ourselves on the heart because it hurts our hearts when we've committed these sins. Some people prefer to keep their hand open and they rub their hearts a little bit to make their hearts more open to tshuva, more open to turning around and choosing a better path. So this prayer will be done as an echo. I'll say the name of uh, whatever the word is that identifies the sin, and then you guys echo, Ariel will lead the echo. And uh, then we'll do some English also. That's not an exact translation, but it gives you an idea, all right? So either fist closed or hand open. Lai la 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 la
Asham nu. Asham nu. Bagad nu. Bagad nu. Gazal nu. Gazal nu. Dibar nu dofi. Dibar nu dofi. Lai la 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 Heavy nu. Heavy nu. The here sha nu. The here sha nu. Zad nu. Zad nu. Hamas nu. Hamas nu. Tafal nu sha ke. Tafal nu sha ke. La 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 la. Ya atz nu ra. Ya atz nu ra. Keys of nu. Keys of nu. Lots nu. Lots nu. Marad nu. Marad nu. Miats nu. Miats nu. Sarar nu. Sarar nu. Avi nu. Avi nu. Pasha nu. Pasha nu. Sarar nu. Sarar nu. Kishinu o ref. Kishinu o ref. Lai la 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 la. Rasha nu. Rasha nu. Shichat nu. Shichat nu. Tiav nu. Tiav nu. Tai nu. Tai nu. Tita nu. Tita la 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 We have been cruel. We have been cruel. We have teased. We have teased. We have lied. We have lied. We have acted violently. We have acted violently. We have cheated. We have cheated. We have boasted exceedingly. We have boasted exceedingly. We have been false. We have been false. We have mocked. We have mocked. We have gossiped. We have gossiped. We have acted wickedly. We have acted wickedly. We have quarreled. We have quarreled. We have been unjust. We have been unjust. We have acted selfishly. We have acted selfishly. We have not remembered Zion. We have not remembered Zion. But we're going to try to do better on all of these things in the new year. On Yom Kippur afternoon, we read the Haftarah. For the Haftarah, we read the book of Jonah. And Jonah is a story um, about a man who was given a job that he didn't want to do. And he was sent to tell a whole city that they needed to repent. Uh, so we have a song that goes with it. I'm gonna ask you guys to do the song with me and Ariella is going to do some puppets. And our chorus for the song is, Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. God said to Jonah to take a trip to Nineveh and tell the wicked people there they have to change their ways. But Jonah wasn't ready for such responsibility. He got on board a ship and he tried to run away. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Yeah. A storm began to blow. The sailors, they were terrified. Jonah said, I'm sorry, it's all because of me. I made God very angry, and now we're in hot water. And the only way to stop it is to throw me in the sea. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. A giant fish was waiting and swallowed Mr. Jonah. He cried aloud to God for three whole days and nights. Then the whale spat him up, and Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the Ninevehians, you better do what's right. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. Tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale. 
He tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. The people all repented, but Jonah wasn't satisfied. He said to God, you shouldn't have forgiven everyone. Then God taught him a lesson that each of us should follow by looking at ourselves and the deeds that we have done. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Jonah, Jonah, living in the whale, tried to run away from God, but that was bound to fail. Thank you, Mr. Jonah. Thank you, Mr. Whale. And thank you, Ariella, for running our puppets. I hope as Yom Kippur begins this evening and as it ends tomorrow night, that you guys have a meaningful uh, day of atonement, a day where even you who can resolve to do things better in the new year. And I want to take this opportunity that if I have hurt you or embarrassed you, in any way during this past year, I am very sorry for that. And I also will try better to not do that in the new year. Let's be friends, make amends. Now it's time to say I'm sorry. Let's be friends, make amends. Say that you'll forgive me. I wish you all a Gemar Chatimatova that you should be written and sealed for a sweet and a healthy and a happy year. And I look forward to seeing you all at Tachabat Friday evening uh, at 5 p.m. right back on this station. Uh, if please be in contact with me if you're not getting the email so that I can make sure that you have the link. Those of you who are fasting, I wish it's Zoom call. And a Shana Tova to everyone. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, Maradana. Thank you. Bye bye. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Maradana, are you done recording? Almost. Stop.